Welcome to SSP TV Community News. I'm Lisa Sugart. Today we are talking about a new program that is coming to Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton. It deals with mindfulness. I know I'm intrigued. I want to know what mindfulness is and what this program is all about. So we're in luck. We're talking with Lisa Wolk. She is a registered and licensed dietitian. She is also the supervisor of programs at the Lehigh Valley Health Network Center for Mindfulness. So Lisa, thank you so much for joining us. Let's start at the beginning. First of all, before we get into more, what is mindfulness? Thanks so much for having me here today. Uh, so mindfulness is a big buzzword today that you might see in all kinds of uh, social media and all over. And it's really, uh, sometimes people think it's something uh, very strange, but it's really just awareness, uh, learning to be aware of what we're doing while we're doing it. And although that sounds strange, uh, many times our bodies are in one place, but our minds are somewhere completely different such as in the future or in the past, uh, or oftentimes we drive to work and we don't even remember how we got there. So mindfulness teaches us to be in this present moment, which oftentimes we're not right here. We're going to talk about what this program is all about. You're bringing it here locally, so that's really amazing. But what is the background? Because this has been around with Lehigh Valley for a long time, but it's just coming now to Hazleton. Yes. Um, well, if we look back at... Um, Historically, mindfulness-based stress reduction is a 40-year-old program approximately that has originated out of University of Massachusetts Medical School and was designed by John Kabat-Zinn. And it's very evidence-based, which means it has a real lot of research behind it. So um, Lehigh Valley Hospital started this program about 22 years ago, and it has been uh, in the Lehigh Valley specifically for all those years. It was started by Dr. Susan Wiley and Dr. Joanne Cohen-Katz. Uh, and both of them have since retired from the program, but uh, it lives on in all of our teachers. And I hope to carry on the tradition uh, that they started all those years ago. Um, it was really a visionary start at, at that time. So uh, I, I started working for them about four years ago. Prior to that, I had my own meditation studio in, in the area. And I just wondered why is this not everywhere? Because there's Lehigh Valley locations all over the place and I'm from this area. And so one of my big goals uh, when I took over supervisor programs was to really bring it a little bit further out. Uh, and we've been doing that. Uh, so that's the next step is to do some introductory programs to start. And we will be offering the eight week curriculum beginning in uh, end of August. So we're, I'm really excited about that. You are a dietitian, and that works hand in hand with mindfulness. And you said you kind of got involved with this because you were interested in it for yourself as well. So tell us, yeah. I guess, a little bit about that and how your background helps with this. Right. Um, well, I did get interested in mindfulness actually through the science of it. I, I remember um, reading a lot of scientific uh, literature on it, which I have a, a huge interest in, and, and all the different ways that it helps people, um, you know, with attention and focus, uh, again, being more present, centered, present focused, uh, helps with depression and anxiety. And there is a uh, uh, other curriculums in mindful eating that I also am a uh, qualified mindful eating therapist. And so it kind of all came together when I took, I was a, I was a meditator at the time and just found out about MBSR. I'm, I'm thinking maybe 15 years ago. And I realized that in order to teach this, the first step was to take the MBSR curriculum, which I did at Lehigh Valley Allentown. And it was so transformational for me. I knew this was exactly the direction that I wanted to go in. So I began my training at UMass uh, uh, shortly after that. And I was raising three kids at the time, so it was a little hard because it is a, a rather long journey to get to teach. But somehow the whole world opened up for me little by little. And um, I finished my training at Brown University because the program moved to Brown. And I'm actually still, I'm still training. I'm still learning and um, and evolving with the practices. But yeah, so I really, I really knew that this is what I wanted to do. And after teaching for many years, co-teaching and 
teaching nutrition, I worked in dialysis uh, with Dr. Bobby for 20 years. I knew that that it was time to move on to this specifically. So that's what I did. I, I left a 30 year career of nutrition behind too, to teach this mindfulness that I see so beneficial for the participants that come through our classroom. Well, now you're having free in-person sessions on Thursday, May 23rd from 6 to 7 p.m. and Wednesday, June 19th from 6 to 7 p.m. So if people are interested, how do they sign up and what will they be learning at these at these sessions? Well, these are these are perfect one hour sessions for them to uh, learn a little bit about more what mindfulness is, what it can mean to you and why would we even bother to do this? Uh, take the time to do this. And they will also get uh, actual experiential practice during this class time to say, well, what kind of things will we do in the classroom? We'll be doing in that hour time frame, And they'll get a good overview of the programming that we offer at the end. So it is the hour is really a nice introduction. That's why we call it introduction mindfulness. And there's also um, many online programs that we're, we have coming up that we could offer. So they can learn all about that during that class time. Um, and they'll learn how to sign up for MBSR if they're interested in learning more and taking a more intense curriculum. Or maybe they, they wanna do other hour programs. They'll also learn that we go off site into many businesses and many communities. Um, oftentimes our team is called to go into the hospital. We talk to a lot of hospital departments. We do some, information on coping skills. And uh, there's a lot of burnout, you know, in healthcare today, and in many different job sites, not just healthcare, many people are asking for our services just to assist with their employees, because everyone's uh, has a very high level of stress, not just work, but you have work, family, um, and a lot of combination of things that are contributing to stress today, the world as it is. Um, so we do go into a lot of places. So people will learn about all of that during that one hour curriculum. And it is free. It's a really nice opportunity if this is something that sparks your interest. The two free in-person sessions are Thursday, May 23rd and Wednesday, June 19th, both from 6 to 7 p.m. They have to register in advance. For more information and to register, you can go to the website up on your screen, but you can also go to the Lehigh Valley uh, Hospital Hazleton Facebook page. There is an event there and you can sign up that way as well. So that makes it quite simple. So please check it out. <music>